<laughs> Welcome back again. Pretty sure you can only see my face like the first part of this, but you know what? You know what? It is my shitty phone, so let's just keep it at that. Currently, it's about 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I don't know about you, dent nights. I don't know about you, UNT students. But who else is pretty pissed at UNT sports right now? Like, the main sports, anyway. Um, it's very strictly to men's basketball and to the football team as well. Um, yeah. Just went to the FAU game. And the ref ball was pretty fucking rampant. It was pretty bad. Uh, there were just fouls all over the place, or called against UND, and it was just absolutely disgusting. Um, it was a bad display of things. And then, to top that off, um, to top that off, there was just some, just some dumb shots, and I know there's been some injury issues with the basketball team, and, you know, some size issues and everything, but good lord, the amount of dumb shots that I've seen just takes the cake. It really takes the cake when, you know, you can't shoot to save a soul. Um, like, it's frustrating. And we have one basketball game left till the uh, conference championships down in Frisco. Why well, we're going to Frisco, I don't know. I mean, Fris Frisco's a good place, you know, go to the Star, you know. I've never been to the Star in Frisco. Um, that whole damn place. I think I saw the, I think I saw the inside of it once, like, you know, like, that's not the point, that's not the point of what I'm talking about here. Oh, man. Like, my God, the collapse of this basketball team, it, it, it's been happening for a while now. I don't think people just talk about it enough, but they'll talk about it in, like, forums and stuff like that, but the collapse of... Of, of the basketball team and and the football team the last couple of years too because you know you know just some bad timing bad injuries you know and then just a absolutely abysmal play yeah it's really but I want to talk about the basketball team right now I'll talk about the football team another time it's not even football season right now and well actually it is but that's the AF that's not really it's not really my cup of tea right now. <laughs> but really, get ba getting back in the focus right now, um, I've got to say, um, non-conference-wise, non-conference-wise, um, saw a couple games in the non-conference slate of things. Um, when the team got back from Hawaii, um, doing their thing down in Hawaii, and you know, came on back and did some did their thing in the non-conference. Only lost to Oklahoma in the non-conference this year. Um, and Oklahoma's trash, so that's not really saying much, but I mean, you know, we did lose to Oklahoma in the non-conference. That was it. That was it. We beat everybody else. Um, <clears throat> there was a couple of Division two, Division three schools that I was disappointed with that were on the schedule. Um, like Humboldt State. I don't even know who they are. Um, that kind of thing has to get off the schedule. Um, did we actually open up the season with Angelo State? And I thought I wanted to go to that game, but I ended up not going to that game at all um, because you know you don't want to watch that. It's kind of like kind of like when we put FCS teams on on the first week of the season. You don't really want to watch that. That that's why um, as a as a student, oh my god, as a student here, you know, um, I lost my train of thought again. These videos are unedited, by the way, so, you know, I just lose my train of thought a lot, but, yeah, um, anyway, back to the point, I'm playing a video game right now, so, if you see me do that, yeah, uh, I'm losing focus again, but that's not the point, um, but, you know, 
the team, you know, did well. Uh, you know, they just had to shoot the ball really well, you know, made a lot of threes. I was comparing them, um, to, you know, <laughs> the Warriors making jokes, uh, comparing them to the Warriors because of all the threes they shot. But the non-conference slate ended, and, you know, late December, early January, conference play begins, you know, you know, you sat and you looked at the at the non-conference and you're just and if you're like me and you're just just absolutely disappointed because there was two division two schools on there and one of them was part of a tournament one of them was our home opener and then you have two HBCUs on there and and no disrespect to the HBCUs but good god that is not I know there's a new thing this year the the net rankings so if you don't understand what those are I don't understand what they are either. Um, they don't really make much sense, but yeah, it, it, it doesn't even matter if it were the net rankings, the RPI, or, or just something like that. The black schools are absolutely trash at basketball, and it, and I'm black, and you know, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say it. The black schools are absolutely fucking garbage at basketball, and... That's the reason why they get paired up in, in the first, in, in the round of 68, first four, um, in the first four games every fucking year because, you know, they're trash. The schools are trash and their conferences are the worst because they have to buy, they, they have to make money because they don't have enough because of, you know, all sorts of issues that could relate to other videos or whatnot. I don't know. I, have, I might have. That's a good idea. That's a good video idea. I have to do some research. But that's not the point. Um, we had two HBCUs come on down um, Arkansas Pine Bluff and then Maryland Eastern Shore. And both those schools are trash. They're still trash right now because in their conference slates, they're not very good. Um, so that, so that, and then you know we didn't play another Power Five team, and then in aside from Oklahoma, we didn't play another Power Five team from you know like the Big Twelve or something like that. Um, and you know that's kind of disappointing. You know, you know it, it it happens, but you know you gotta you gotta beef up. The, and this is true for all Conference USA schools, honestly. Um, you gotta kind of beef up the non-conference schedule a little bit, or actually, they did do the dumb thing, and and we all know what the dumb thing is that I'm referring to. It's the whole pod system thing that doesn't make much sense. Um, like after 14 games, you know, they start to pair you up in groups, and we're UNT's in group two because you know we lost a lot of games. Um, during that 14 game stretch that we shouldn't have lost like FAU the first time in Boca Raton we lost the first time in Boca Raton um, and that's why we're in a group with them I don't I don't know who the other teams are there's only like one there's only like one game left in the season that's on that's Sunday so um but yeah um, you know, you gotta, you know, the 18 game schedule thing, um, like the new pod system and everything, I don't like it at all, um, I think it's stupid, and I know the Sun Belt's gonna do something similar, um, I wanna say it's next year that they're doing it, but at least it actually makes sense because of the number of teams in their conference, like, Conference USA has 14 teams, and, like, UTEP, honestly, UTEP is just so far away from everybody else that they really shouldn't even be here. They should be in the Mountain West, honestly. Um, then a team like Charlotte. Charlotte has been bad at football for a long, for a while. Like, Charlotte has been bad since they came up to... To um, top level Division One football, and in, in basketball, they're I don't even know anything about their basketball team. I'm pretty sure their basketball team's not that great either. Um, 
but um, you know, like the conference is just too big to have this kind of structure with it as far as games go, you know. And I'm really liking, you know, the 20 game thing that that some conferences are starting to do. Obviously, you know, the Big 12 can't do it, and the Big East can't do it. What other conferences, Big Ten, um, Big Ten, ACC, they're going all in with this 20 game conference thing, and it's great, and I like it. But this conference right here needs a lot to change, and you know, th there's all the time in the world to change it. Uh, TV deals are not that great. You know, who wants to watch a game on like Stadium or BNTV or something like that, or, or the Conference USA um, online service? Who wants to watch games there? Nobody wants to watch games there. And the live experience, you know, the Soup Pit. It's a, it's okay. It's a good arena, honestly. Um, but you know, the seats are absolutely trash. Um, finally, you know. Tonight, I was able to fit into a seat. You know, I mean, I'm big guy. Oh, God. Uh, I thought my camera went off for a second. I'm big guy, and here, here I am thinking that I'd be able to fit in these seats just fine. But no, no. I have to go into the student section to do that. Like, there's finally a seat in the student section that actually fit me very well. And it's, and it's great. You know, hell, I don't even think, um, I don't even think most of the students even come out to these games, honestly. And it's pretty sad because, you know, like it's more kind of, you know, football season that everybody comes out and the stadium's packed. But, you know, like the highest attendance is like eight, 8,500 people. Um, during a game, and I don't remember if I was there at that game or not. You know, Super Pit seats like nine, ninety-five hundred people, and to have only eighty-five hundred go—that's crazy, man. For like one game, it's not even like a whole bunch of games, you know, in a row. It's like just that one game that basically almost completely sold out the house. And it's crazy. But, um, yeah, so, I've kind of been rambling about other stuff that's been happening um, in in our conference in general. But, but, you know, injuries, bad shots, bad play all around, and then, you know, the ref ball comes in and swoops in and saves the day with its brand of stupidity. Um, it's really really invigorating to, you know, watch to watch a team collapse like that and it's sad to say that we're probably not going to go to the NCAA tournament unless you pull something off like like the way Conference USA has been for a couple of years now because Conference is absolutely garbage so with that being said, this video is a bit too damn long I'm kind of tired and I have an essay to do tomorrow so See y'all around another time. Big boy out. Come on down. Subscribe, baby. Let's get good and comfortable with all these content.